micro frustrated, macro focused, and that's what it's all about. You will feel pain. <laughs> Every successful person travels a painful journey. People don't realize how important the micro failures, like obviously the macro failures will set you back, but those micro failures on a daily basis are what's going to build. I mean, that, that will be the foundation that you build your life upon. But in order to grow, you have to be stretched. In order for anything to grow, it has to be stretched. And typically there is a struggle involved in the stretching process. Um, but struggling has a super negative connotation. Uh, I just like to look at it as growth. Like, is growing important? Like, and obviously the answer to that is 100% yes. You have to grow in order to level up. Well-managed failure is the leading cause of success. So I want you to think about that right now. Whether you're currently going through a failure, whether you're just getting over or on the other side of a failure, or inevitably, you know, failure at some point is going to happen. Think about that. Well-managed failure is the leading cause of success. To me, that means that you can fail your way to the top. Suffering is an integral and essential part of any real pursuit of success. Nothing about success comes easy, but every painful story has the potential to have a successful ending. That's huge. You may as well accept suffering as a traveling companion rather than res resist it and create more struggle. See each day as a day that you are blessed with new chances and opportunities to start from the place you find yourself. Uncertainty and stress are inevitable. Both prompt you to make adjustments to mitigate their effects, mentoring you toward further success. Adler believed that perceived disadvantages often prove to be well-disguised advantages because they force us to develop attitudes and abilities that would have otherwise gone undiscovered. It is only as we compensate for those disadvantages that we discover our greatest gifts. It's almost like the, the more difficult, the more obstacles, the more struggles there is, the greater yeah the greater the outcome is going to be and you almost you almost like I'm, I'm to the point now like like when i do a workout or when i go for a run where like i'm almost craving the discomfort. pain and the discomfort i'm like man how can i make this more difficult oh, i'll throw a weighted vest on how can i make this more difficult i'll throw a hoodie on underneath that weighted vest so then i can sweat more like almost like trying to trying to make things more difficult to go out and do it and, right. and hopefully not get injured but um but but that's what they, that ex, having that experience for those that don't have that though it's it's just pure fear. But once you've been through it, it, it alleviates some of that fear to where you know that that's just a part of the process.